Hey there, Tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHDS-404VW 4K Video Matrix Switcher with video wall capabilities. This single product is actually two products in one. As a video matrix switcher, it allows you to very easily redirect the output from four different HDMI media sources to four ultra high resolution monitors while still providing complete control over which of those outputs is displayed on each of those monitors individually by using the buttons on the front of the unit to make your selections or by using the infrared remote control or through a LAN connection to your local network by opening a browser or through a direct RS-232 connection to a local computer. In video wall mode, it combines the inputs into various outputs, and there are 10 predetermined outputs that you can select from. Some of those will take a single input and blend that across all four monitors to create a gigantic display. With others, you can mix and match the inputs across all four monitors. Now, the product fully supports 4K ultra-high definition media content, and it's both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 1.4 and 2.2 compliant, so you know it's going to work fine with all of your modern media equipment. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and then I'll take a closer look at the unit. I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. I'll list the features and functions the product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how easy this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the video matrix switcher. You'll find a single 12 volt, 2.5 amp DC power supply. You can simply plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it with a locking collar. This plugs into the DC input port in the back and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find an infrared extender kit. This unit can sit on top of a cabinet and as long as you can see the front of it, you can use the infrared remote. But if you're going to locate this inside of a cabinet or a wiring closet where the front of it is blocked, you can use this infrared extender kit by plugging it into the back and locating the receiver outside of the cabinet using the sticky pad to pick up those infrared signals. You'll also find a bracketing kit you can use to mount the unit up off the ground and out of the way. There's an RS-232 connection block if you need to make a connection to your local computer. There's an infrared remote control that provides complete functionality so you can make your selections from a distance. You'll find a warranty card and a full instruction manual included that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other really important information you'll need to understand about the product in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit. I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do the demonstration. The O-Ray UHDS-404VW features a full metal enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. On the top of the cabinet, as well as along both sides, you'll find ventilation slots, and those are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. You'll also find mounting holes on both sides, and these can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount the product up off the ground and out of the way. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a power switch. That can be used to turn the unit on and off by simply tapping that switch. To the right of that is a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit and turn the unit on, it starts an internal power on self-test where it checks all the electronics just to make sure everything is working okay. Once it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know the unit's ready to use. To the right of that are four LEDs for output number one, four more for output two, four more for output three, and finally four more for output four. These indicate which of the inputs is currently active on that output. And if you'd like to switch between the inputs, you can simply tap that button and it'll step through all the inputs for output one, the same for output two, and the same for output three. And that's where you'll make your selection using these buttons. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting on the left, you'll find a LAN port that's where you can connect it directly to your network if you'd like to use a web GUI to control this. You can open up a browser, point it at the unit, and then make your configuration changes there. To the right of that is an RS-232 port. That can connect directly to a computer. You can use a command line to make your selections. To the right of that is a 3.5mm port labeled IR extender, and that's where the IR extension kit plugs in if you need to use that kit. Again, if this is outside of a cabinet, the remote control will work just fine, but if you locate it inside of a cabinet, or a wiring closet that you can't see the front of the unit, you'll need to use that extension kit. To the right of that are four full-sized HDMI ports labeled HD1, 2, 3, and 4. These are input ports. These connect to whatever media devices you'd like to share the output from with your displays. There are four more full-sized HDMI ports here labeled output, 
one, two, three, and four. And these are where your monitors connect that you'd like to view the content from those media devices. Finally, to the right of that is a DC input port, and that's where the power supply plugs in. You'll simply plug that into a wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there, and you can finger tighten the collar. On the bottom of the unit, you'll find more ventilation and four rubber feet that are designed to keep this unit in place when you set it down and protect the surface that it's sitting on. The O-Ray UHDS-404VW is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including computer systems, projectors, game consoles, DVD players, and media players like Roku. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra-high definition media content, it provides four inputs and four output connections, it is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 1.4 and 2.2 compliant, it can operate as a video switcher or a video wall, and it provides control through a network connection, RS-232, or infrared remote. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up four small media players, three of them are displaying different images, and the fourth one is looping a video just to show you that you can easily mix and match different video sources. And this is the media content that I'd like to display in my monitors. Over here, I've set up four displays in a two by two grid pattern. Now this unit has pre-programmed display modes built in for a one by four horizontally, one by four vertically, or a two by two like I've got set up over here. So you'll have to set up your monitors to accommodate the type of display you'd like to see. And you can always use it as a video matrix to just select an input and send it to the monitors. But if you want to use the video wall, be sure you organize your monitors in the right format. Now the first connection I'm going to make is from the media player directly to the unit and I've got four HDMI cables already connected up to the media players, and I'll plug those into HDMI input number one, number two, number three, and then finally number four. And now I'm ready to connect up my output displays, and it's really important that you understand the order of these displays. So that's one, two, three, and four, and I've labeled the cables so that I plug them into the right output ports. And I'll plug these into HDMI output number one, output number two, output number three, and finally output number four. And now that I've got all my inputs and outputs connected, I'm all set to add power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it which plugs directly into the DC input port. Now the minute I add power to the unit, it starts that internal power on self-test where it's gonna check the electronics, it's gonna check the resolution of my media devices and the resolution of my output devices to make whatever adjustments are needed to give me the best possible picture. So let me plug that in. It's going to take a second for it to start that self-test. Unit's powered up. Any second now we'll see the displays come to life and you'll see some of the inputs displayed on the outputs. Now that adjustment for the resolution, again, is a great thing that this product does because you want to make sure you get the best possible picture over here. And you can see that I've got three static images and a video looping down in that corner. Now we've got a couple of choices here. I can select different inputs if I want for each of the outputs or I can put it into matrix mode and I'll show you how that works. Let me move into matrix mode. Here's a four by four, which will actually take one image, in this case, I guess image number one, and put it across all four of them. Now that's the video wall function built into the unit. If I want to go back to the regular displays, I'll tap this, and that'll take me back to individual individual displays that you can see each of the inputs on four of the outputs. Now, the nice thing about this being a video matrix is that I can use it like a switch. I can select one of these inputs to all four outputs, or I can mix and match as I need to, but I really like the fact that it's also a video wall because it allows me to select one of the inputs and show it as if I've got a gigantic display when I've really got four smaller displays that are sort of connected together. And it really is just that simple to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray UHDS-404VW helpful. It really does combine the functionality of a 4K video matrix switcher with a video wall generator into a single product. And in video matrix switcher mode, you can redirect the output from four different HDMI media sources to four different ultra high resolution monitors by using the buttons on the front of the unit, the included infrared remote, a connection to your network by opening a browser, or through a direct RS-232 connection to a local computer. So it provides complete functionality and gives you a lot of flexibility about which of those outputs are displayed on which 
of those monitors at any given time. In video wall mode, it provides 10 pre-selected patterns that redirect the inputs to the outputs to combine one of those to a large display across all four monitors or to mix and match those inputs across the outputs. And the fact that the unit fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 1.4 and 2.2 compliant means it'll work with all of your modern media equipment and a wide range of different media file types. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.